Hey guys, today I'm going to use my massive beaker and some relatively tiny ball beans to show you how geotrophism works. So if we look at our broad beans close up, you can see they have this end on them. And this is the end where things are going to start happening. But what I want to see, what I want to show you, is does it matter whether this end is pointing down, or does it matter whether it's pointing up, or does it matter whether it's pointing sideways? So here they are, with a little nodule on the left, with it on the right, with it on the bottom, and with it on the top. I will water these and track these over a few days and show you in which direction the shoots and the roots grow. Three days in and we can see one of the little uh, thingy bobs, uh, beans rather, thingy bobs, is producing a little root. So this one we have something coming down, here we have something emerging, and this one, something is emerging at the top. It is July, so very warm and sunny, and very quickly all of these have produced shoots, uh, roots that are going downwards, and here we have a shoot that is going up. You can see root development is coming along really well now with all four pointing roots down below. This one here, the shoot hasn't started up yet. This one's kind of thinking about it and the other two have shoots going upwards. So here are our broad beans after about two weeks. And you can see in all of them, the roots are growing downwards and the shoots are growing upwards. So this is an example of geotrophism, because all of the roots are going downwards towards gravity and all of the shoots are growing upwards away from gravity. So here are our plants. And just to recap, this one here had the little nodule at the top, this one had the little nodule at the bottom, this one had the little nodule on the right, and this one had the little nodule on the left. But it doesn't matter where that little nodule is, it doesn't matter which way up, round or down the seed is, all that matters is the effect that gravity has on the way that the seeds are growing. So we can see all of these um, roots downwards and all of the shoots growing upwards. If we can take a closer look at these roots, you can see that they are furry. So these are going to be extra little bits or increasing the surface area of the root so that they can get more water and more nutrients. <laughs> 